Okay. Mallory, oh my god. That is just fantastic acting. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I am feeling very festive. When this video comes out, it's probably going to be close to Christmas. So happy holidays. I hope you guys are celebrating well and staying safe and healthy. Today I'm reacting to Mallory Bechtel singing Requiem from Dear Evan Hansen. I am a humongous Dear Evan Hansen fan. I saw it on Broadway a couple years ago and ugly cried through the entire thing. It would have been embarrassing if everyone around me wasn't all so ugly crying. It was this very beautiful communal experience experience. Oh, I loved it. And I was like in the third row. Oh, so good. I want to give a quick shout out to Singing Straw for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about straw phonation, I go into the nitty gritty details in my recent video, which I will link right here. Basically, what you need to know is that straw phonation is the holy grail for singers. And I am a big fan of Singing Straw because you don't need a cup of water to reap the full benefits. In fact, three millimeters, which is the standard size of their straw, is even more effective than a straw in water. And when you use code Hannah Bales until the end of the year, you get 15% off. This is beautiful. Why should I play this game of pretend? Remembering through a secondhand sorrow. Such a great son and wonderful friend. Oh, don't the tears just pour I could curl up and hide in my room There in my bed still sobbing tomorrow I could give in to all of the gloom But tell me, tell me what for Why should I have a heavy heart? Why should I start to break in pieces? Why should I go and fall apart for you? Why should I play the grieving girl and lie? Gosh, this is so pretty. So she's getting a little stronger in her chest voice, but then on why, she's making a deliberate choice to lift into a lighter head voice with more air, or also called a falsetto. Have a heavy heart. Should I start to break So there's your chest voice there. Why should I go and fall apart for you? And then a breathy head voice. Why should I play the grieving girl and lie? Saying that I miss you and that my world has gone dark without your light. I will sing. Using a love we endlessly gave you You were a fire out of control Ooh. The blaze that couldn't be tamed Why should I have I love a these heavy lyrics. heart? Why should I say I'll keep you with me? Why should I go and fall apart for you? So rude of me to stop, but this is so incredible. I want to talk about why for a second. First of all, chills. Did anyone else get goosebumps out there? This is amazing. She built up her chest voice and then led into a really strong belt on the top. Something she's doing to stay relaxed here, she's saying wa and la instead of why or lies. It's not getting spread, and that is incredible. I go and fall apart for you. Wow. Why should I play the grieving girl and lie? So good. That I miss you and that my world has gone dark without your light. I will sing no requiem tonight. Cause when the villains fall, the kingdoms never weep. No one lies.
Okay, we got to talk about that. <sighs> Mallory, oh my God. Okay, here's the thing about this section. If y'all are trying to, y'all, I'll go with it. If y'all are trying to sing this song on your own and you're getting to that big part and you're maybe a little lost, don't know how you should be placing it or how you should be singing it, Mallory is doing a fantastic job here. So let's listen to her do it again. So don't tell me that I didn't have it. It's important to note that when we have a big note, right? We're going into, you were not the monster, that top you. It's usually our focus, but the thing is, is a couple measures, if not a couple lines before that note are just as important because they're setting us up for success. So she's doing a great job here, keeping everything relaxed. She's not getting too heavy, which is easy to do when you're getting louder because we know that volume equals weight. So she's not getting too loud, not getting too heavy so that she can Save all of that great intensity for the top notes. Don't tell me that it wasn't black and white. Relax here. After all you put me through, don't say it wasn't true. And she just did my favorite thing, which is a little bit of a stink face. All you put me through, to get that mix. Don't say it wasn't true. So good. That you were not the monster that I knew. And that, my friends, is just fantastic acting. And you look at her and she looks like she's doing the least, right? And sometimes that is exactly what we need to communicate the emotion that we're looking for. She is feeling that and so I'm feeling it as an audience member. She's communicating that so beautifully and I believe every second of it. Oh my gosh, she's so good. I just have so much to say about this. And on you, I'll say one more thing about this section. She engages her core, so it's you! And it's a little whiny. That how she stays connected in that mix. Right here. That you were not the monster. Do you guys hear that? That I knew. Cause I cannot play the grieving girl and lie. Saying that I miss you and that my I will sing no requiem. I will sing no requiem tonight. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's talk about it. I loved everything about that. Those instrumentalists, incredible. Also, I know that Mallory at this point was 18. She had just graduated from high school. This was in 2018, so she's a little older now. That's so incredible. And not only because she's such a great vocalist, that's impressive that she's so young. I think even more than that, it's impressive at how beautifully she's telling the story. I believe her. I believe that she is feeling these horrible emotions. This heaviness, it's there. I think there's a little bit of musical theater magic happening, which is we're better singers when we're better actors. When we're connected to the song, it all comes together. That was so beautiful. And there were a lot of different sides of her voice that she was showing off. A very strong chest voice, a lighter, breathy head voice, a strong belt, and then on the very top, a really, really strong mixy belt. She was utilizing her mix, engaging her core. I mean, 10 out of 10, incredible. Thank you so much to Singing Strong for sponsoring this video. Remember, use code Hannah Bales at checkout for 15% off, but only until the end of the year. So run, grab your singing straws. And thank you for watching. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher, and now you're all my students. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and I'll see you later.